Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating the room, uh, more specifically, the walls that go around uh, the room, the perimeter of the room, and the walls that actually make up the maze. This is going to give us our game area. So on the screen, you can see that I've created a sprite uh, for a tile that I'm going to use for my wall. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is to create an object which um, will wear the sprite for the wall. So to do that, um, just to re recap in memory, we're going to go on to objects. I'm going to right click on objects. I'm going to create and I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to give this object a name, which is going to be OBJ underscore wall. Don't forget all lowercase. And then I'm going to allocate the sprite that I've created to that object. Okay. So that's all I need to do at the moment. What I'm now going to do is going to go into my room that I've uh, or that's been created for me. So this is room one. So I'm going to double click to open up room one. And now I'm going to just to zoom out slightly so I can see all of the room. Okay, so I can see the perimeter of the room. Now, when I drag on my object and drop it into the top corner, you can see that it creates the wall. And if I hold down the Alt key, okay, and click and drag, you can see that it allows me to draw my wall. Okay, you can undo things using Control and Z. Um, so I'm just going to create my wall around the outside. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I can, I can uh, d delete individual tiles as well. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make a point. And that is, in my game, I need somewhere for the score to appear and for the lives to appear. If I draw my wall across the top perimeter of the room, um, I'm using up space that could be used to display that information. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to come down and I'm going to start drawing my wall around about there. And then I'm going to use the Alt key again. And now I'm going to carefully start drawing my wall. It is fiddly, okay, because if you come down uh, onto the next set of sprites, like as I just did there, it starts drawing the, the wall elsewhere. So I'm going to keep on doing that to give me my perimeter of my room. And you can see that as I do that, every single one of those tiles is given uh, is, is given a, a name within the game. OK, so I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm, oops. I'm going to do the same thing across here. And the same thing up here. Let's get rid of those ones that I've just drawn there. Okay. So now I've got my my wall that's uh, around the perimeter of my game. What I can now start doing is drawing in my walls for the maze. Now, when you do this, it's really important that you bear in mind that the character has to move around the maze so it has to make you have to make sure that you leave enough space for your character to move if you don't that's fine because when you come to do your testing for your game when you come to create it for your uh, controlled assessment then you uh, that can form part of your testing so if for example you start moving around the maze and you realize that there's areas you can't get to it's not where you change you don't change that before you test that's a perfect opportunity to identify an issue with the game and how you've developed the solution, so how you've made it work for you. What did you do to make it work? What was the problem? Character couldn't move down a corridor. How did you solve it? You deleted some parts of the maze, or you resized the maze, or you re or you changed the layout of the maze to ensure that uh, the playable character could reach all parts of the maze. So I'm just going to pause the uh, the video whilst I create my first level. Um, just remember that the first level should be fairly easy and they should get they should get more complex as you go through so I'll just complete my first level and then I'll come back okay so I've created my first level I've drawn my perimeter of my maze and I have drawn my walls inside my maze I've changed my design slightly at the top um, I've decided that I'm going to have a, a box up here 
uh, that's not being used in, within the game for displaying uh, my lives and my score. Um, and that's going to stay the same um, through all of my levels. So the perimeter of the room will stay the same. Uh, the the uh, design of the walls inside the maze will change, of course. Um, so let's just test that now to see how that works and how it looks. And uh, let's have a look for any issues. So I'm going to click the play button or the run button. It's going to compile my game. You can see there now that uh, my uh, maze is um, up and running. So if I start walking around, you can see that my speed of my character is quite slow so I might look at uh, increasing the speed of that um, but there's another issue here okay and I think you can just about start to see it I can walk through walls now that's an issue um, that we need to look at um, because we can't have that in game of course so um, we will be looking at that in a future video um, but you can see that we have at least got a design for our maze uh, our character is moving around the maze, although I might have to speed that character up by changing the the, um, the the numbers in the X and the Ys for my movement, which we looked at in the last video. But uh, like I say, I have movement around my maze. So um, we'll look at some of the issues around uh, this character and uh, stopping our character walking through walls in the next tutorial.